So many challenges uh, concerning trust, for example, some people have been proposing to create some sort of a, a label uh, to, to, for example, label software or, or basically IT products uh, in order to guide consumers. Um, at the same time, their opponents who are, who are saying, okay, how, how do we make sure that this label actually works? Or uh, aren't you afraid that too much regulation is going to stifle innovation? Things like that. So, uh, I mean, with, as with everything, there's a, a give and take a little bit. Um, and. I mean, bigger, biggest threat, uh, as you say, I mean, the diminished trust, uh, kind of, uh, an internet is based on trust, right? I mean, when it was born, like 40, 50 years ago, it was basically a few guys that are, uh, mm, uh, that are connecting to each other uh, without any centralized system and they basically trust each other that there won't be an actor that is um, acting in bad faith or maliciously uh, for the internet to work. Basically, you, you list a lot of um, information and basically you trust the network operators that they have listed it correctly. So, um, internet actually managed to expand based on the trust. So, um, now that there is business interests involved and uh, uh, basically it impacts our entire lives, it, it has become uh, a little bit more difficult to exclude, for example, bad actors. Uh, and so that has eroded trust. Um, um, yeah, at the same time, we need to be very careful uh, what sort of steps we take to, to address that, to change that, so that we don't take away from what made the internet what it is.